<laughs> you are live. Hi, welcome to Build Across. I have a treat for y'all today. Uh, what? I forgot, I forgot about, about this already. Like, it's yeah. like <laughs> so. This weekend, I taught a, a pet painting class at this place in Monroe called the Art Alley Marketplace, and there's like several vendors in there. And this little vendor, the Little Sweet Shop, uh, was in there, and she had cake ball. Well, I guess they're Marty King Cake cake balls. So I brought us back some to try on the live because we love big one. to eat on the live. Yes, you have to try one and give us your... I can. Okay, all the junk food you ate last night. I didn't eat much junk food. So, what do you think? I'm trying to pin what it is. I mean, it's like cinnamon. Uh-huh. But... Tara's the food connoisseur. She can tell you. Mm. It tastes like something. The icing's good. It's good. Mm -hmm. Like, I taste the cinnamon. Mm hmm. She's a local but vendor. But it tastes like a specific food. Did you tell you were going to shout her out today? I did. I really like them. And she had the cutest little Mardi Gras cookies. Look at the Antique Alley. Uh huh. No, no, no. Art Alley on the other side of the river. Oh, okay, okay. Art Alley, yeah. In my drive. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. We all can find her on Facebook. The little sweet shop. Okay. Mmm. It's good. We need Billy to try it and tell us what it is. Billy, come try this cake ball. Tell us what the flavor is. I mean, it's cinnamon for sure. Oh, it tastes just like a brown sugar cinnamon pop tart. Mm. Oh, that's my favorite too. What is this? Yeah. You just smelled it. No, I knew. I was like, it, it tastes just like something. It tastes like that pop tart. Mm. I can taste that. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's gonna bother me until I. Kara's so good at coming out with flavors. What do you think? Hmm. Hmm. It's definitely king cakey. It tastes like the brown sugar pop tart. Yeah. Tastes like um. I mean, king cake. Once you king cake, it's it's definitely like a cinnamon roll kind of. You know, mm -hmm. that whole thing. It's well, good. I like them. A Very plus, good. Amy. I think her name I is like Amy. Her. her name is Amy Hobbs. A plus Amy. She's got um if you're looking for decorated cookies. Mm -hmm. She yeah. had really cute, like little Louisiana cookies and mm -hmm. mask cookies. Mm -hmm. So if you're a small business, has anything you'd like us to try? And eat. On <laughs> <laughs> food. Thanks, Amy. Mmm. That's pretty good. Mmm, chicken. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> chicken. Mmm. All right. Are you talking about giveaways or anything? We're going to just go for it. We're pretty much went straight into the okay. cake ball. We're ready to eat. I'm painting a pelican today. A pelican head on this round to take to Canton. Feeling a little sentimental about pelicans today. Yeah, I wonder why. <laughs> So, y'all can talk about giveaways. I'm going to add a base of the gulf down here. Me and Billy had a pelican flower oh. the other night. Did you? It was huge. Like a real pelican? Well, it was either that or it was Batman. <laughs> it was just a gigantic or pterodactyl. It was a gigantic. It was a pterodactyl. Uh, but we've been having some around the cabins lately, I'm pretty sure. Pterodactyls? Uh, pelicans, I think. Pelicans are those, like, cowbirds or... Egret. That's egret. egret. Yeah. No, yeah, huge. Pelicans are they got the big uh thing on their jaw. Like, yeah. The, the big fish, pocket. Yeah. Fish catch. I told him it might have been the angel death. It was a smear the blood over. <laughs> it was a big old word for sure. But we've had, but there's also those big gray ones out there now and I don't know what you call those. They're starting to come back, probably. Some kind of crane out there. Peggy wants to know where Canton, Texas is. Well it is on uh twenty Headed towards, it's between Dallas and Shreveport. Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to think of other two large. Tyler, Garland. Tyler, Longview. Is not Longview. How, how far from Dallas? An hour? 45 hour? to an hour, yeah. Okay. So I'm using the gulf down here on the bottom half just to be symbolic of a little bit of water. Mm -hmm. 
I feel like you have pterodactyls out there. <laughs> it was a big bird. It was kind of dark, so we couldn't tell. Have you ever read that Frank Peretti? But do you have you have you read Frank Peretti? Uh, no. I He's a Christian author. Christian science fiction. Oh, uh, it's oh, science fiction. Well, it's like he writes like. Oh, what are some of his books? Um, this present darkness. Yeah, eighteen inches. He has a book about a creature that's flying around. Oh, really? Yeah. You should read it. Yeah, it sounds like I don't need this. I'll be scared. You bed. should read it. Okay. This is just going to be like a profile of a pelican. Do his body first. I'm going to use grays and whites for the body. I'll probably put a little blue in there. What's the deal? What are they? Kettle corn? Yeah, we're going to do some kettle corn today. Ooh. So we're going to get them to. Um, like, share, and drop their social security number in the comments. The underside of the pelican is always darker. It's a little shaded. Um, well, and also because the light doesn't really hit it as much. He's got uh, feathers down here. So I'm going to start by just swiping the light in the dark gray. Light gray on the back where the light hits them more. And then I'm going to blend it together with some squash marks just to make it a little more. In case y'all don't notice too, I make up words, <laughs> squash marks, uh, to make it a little more feathery looking. I've got my paint really runny right now because I want it to blend well. The top of his head is going to blend into yellow, so I'll go ahead and add gray right here, and then I'll come back with yellow in a bit. So... I want to commend you for taking it so gracefully when I was telling you what a pelican was while you were painting one and you didn't even rebuke me. So. <laughs> <laughs> and I was thinking, like, oh, she doesn't know what a pelican is. And you describe one to her. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've ever been around one up close, so I don't know how big they are. They're pretty big. In person. Are they big like flamingo, big, like ostrich big? Um, no, but probably three foot tall or so. Yeah. Big birds. They're big. Like when you have the white thing. ones and yeah. you have the brown ones too. The brown ones are the, the big ones. Yeah. Not quite as big as a hobbit, but more like a leopard one. Right, right up there. Okay. Well, that's how I judge bigness. Yeah. yeah. Leprechauns. leprechauns and hobbits. Well, the leprechaun so, community is getting bigger. I've seen them. plenty of them. I've seen some sketches. Very evolving. I witnessed sketches. <laughs> So I'm thinking I'm going to swipe some uh, blue in here on his feathers, maybe a reflection. I'm using pure ocean. Lisa Beth said her husband said we need a road trip on up there to PA, bring some kettle corn and hit some craft fairs. Heck yeah. I'm with it. That's a good kind of cousin to have, Lisa. Husband. Or, <laughs> what did I say? You said cousin. <laughs> That's a good kind of hus husband to have, Lisa, one that wants to go to craft fairs. I need one like that. She got a brother. <laughs> <laughs> Hook it up, Lisa. All right. And some white. Carrie said you better put your body armor on. She may or may not be at camp this time, but if you oh. go prepared, <laughs> it'd be best. Don't kill me, Carrie. Where's those cake balls at? Are they gone? No, they're right there. You oh, man. I should have them. Okay. I already had two pieces of that cake to her bro. We're just eating. Look what she's doing. Look at her. Eating. Salad. Oh. Okay. From, okay. This, from this angle, it looks like cake. Doesn't taste like cake. I'm going to go ahead and hit the bottom area of his breast uh, a little more with some dark to give it some shadow. You'll notice that I am not being super precise. I'm not trying to uh, define anything. And literally, I'm just spending seconds on this body. Where is Scarlett these days? They want to know Scarlett. She's in Florida. She's at the beach. I just saw a picture of her on uh, Instagram. Let's see if I can Florida. give you the address. Um, yeah, where she's at. <laughs> We're going to give you her phone number since she's not here. So y'all can let her know. The weather looks a lot warmer where she's at than where we're at. Oh, yeah. They're in short sleeves on the beach. <laughs> So, now that I've got this body down, 
I just want you to know that you can totally uh, just the, with the wet paint, the water, I was able to just kind of blend and swipe and it just literally took seconds. So I'm going to turn it a little bit now and I'm going to do the top of his head, which is more of a white and yellowish daisy and fluff. I only put one coat down here because I'm probably going to sand it out a little bit. Still using the same brush I was before. Do some yellow here on his nose. Where his beak starts. Come over the top of the head. You can find a pelican picture online anywhere that you want to look at to paint. Just Google. Pelican painting. So basically, uh, what inspired this was the theft that occurred over the weekend. Sarah's paintings got robbed. <laughs> oh, I was just starting to feel better, Billy. <laughs> <laughs> so she's painting replacement. You don't want to know. She's egging it on. Sarah. Yeah. You gonna do me a huge favor? Yeah. Hammer needs multicam. Oh, <laughs> that's what I say. Unbelievable. You ready to get it? Are you confident in it? No, I'm not confident. You gonna do it? Problem. I no. can do it. No, I'm gonna do it. I think there's some two time sheets uh, up there. The what? Two time sheet. Sorry guys. What about this one? Yeah always interesting because like everything continues while we do these videos whether it's the UPS guy walking in or students wanting to leave <laughs> or whatever people stealing my work yeah people stealing your artwork off the wall it's life goes on with the camera rolling I'm thinking about buying it okay so I just want to see how it makes me feel we're thinking about selling our reality show to A&E <laughs> I don't know what I don't think it would be that interesting. We call it freedom for all. I don't know. I just have like weird antics, you know, like how we all talk about each other when we're not around. I'd be like the office. Just like of. the office. Yeah, I'd be like the office a little bit. <laughs> we're talking about a reality show. <sighs> My neck hurts so bad. My wave is not working. You know who else was neck was hurting yesterday for him? BJ's. Oh, Mine was hurting so bad I couldn't even talk. But his headache went away as soon as he ate some carbs. It really Dr. did. Dr. Bill knew what he was doing. It was so <laughs> good. It's been the first time I ate anything like that. <laughs> I was like, oh my goodness. It just made me feel and better. And now you won't eat a cake ball? No, I'm trying to get back on track. Peggy said, oh wait, this stealing on paintings is not a joke. <laughs> 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 well. Well, it's not. So much that I'm just it's gonna just, say where beautiful art once hung. It is, is gone. Nothing. It's a bare wall. I decorated my office with my artwork. We know who the culprits are. <laughs> they think it's flattering though. Awfully <laughs> quiet back there. Okay. You know what? Sarah, I'm gonna go take the TV at your house because I, I I think <laughs> you need to know how nice of a TV. Bill, BJ, we you go the black from the top shelf on the right? Yeah. <sighs> and then I'm going to put that TV a in a spot where it's yeah. never going to get used. Okay, just take my dog. And <laughs> take my dog. Yeah, yeah, orange up there. That. No, it's terrifying. Yeah. Thanks, boy. We're starting the art rental program. <laughs> they can rent it. They rent it against the paycheck. Art renter. Art rental. Okay. Has anybody painted a pelican before? They're super. Pelican. Are you looking at something to do it? I'm do looking it. at a painting okay. on Pinterest. Okay, yeah. Not taking so that at all. So what's the whole thing gonna be like? It's just the uh, the pelican like off the side and yeah, the and then they water. can they can uh have it monogrammed, welcome or lake life or however they want when they purchase it. 
Or they can take it just like this and hang it in this their house. This was a uh, 18 inch yellow pine round stained with uh, early, early American. American. That's really the only one I use. <clears throat> early American. You're doing video? Yeah. Yeah, why? You don't talk to me? Come talk, Kobe. What you got going on this week, man? We got any new flavor releases? Any uh, sales? Uh, uh, we're shipping over 50. First time in four oh, years. There you go. Tyler Mall. Uh, Broadway Square Mall in Tyler, Texas. Pop Luck Kettle Corn is going to be in two locations this weekend. Uh, first cool. Monday Trade Days in Canton, Texas, and also at the Tyler Mall. Broadway Square. Broadway Square. Yep. And it's going to be in two <laughs> two locations inside, uh, on, you know, a, a spot on each end of the mall. I think around Hollister is one, and the Shoe Palace, I think, is the other. Uh, but we haven't been there in probably four what years. What are y'all bringing? You bringing all the flavors? Yep, 30. Six or thirty-seven flavors. Okay. Dang, that's a lot. Yep. Yeah. No limits. Um, what day is that? Start? Starting Wednesday. Wednesday. Wednesday Y'all heard Saturday. that? No limits on sample tron. Yeah. You can you can even lap the table and go two times. And you can fill up on samples and then yeah. just buy. I don't even have to buy enough. <laughs> what else? Just bring Hopefully your whole family at but dinner time. You can try them all twice and say I'll be back. What's the newest <laughs> flavor y'all have? Uh, the Chocolate caramel candy or something. Yeah, that was the most recent one. Uh, King cake is coming to an end. Tomorrow is Mardi Gras, uh, and that's going to mark the end of our. Yeah, a lot of people been asking flavor. if we was going to keep that flavor, and I messaged a couple people on our website last night that that has that we will be keeping that flavor. It'll just not be the green, purple, yeah, yellow. Yeah, we won't have it colored. So. And it will be called cinnamon rolls, right? Which uh, we're in the. Hey, you want to try uh, King cake cake ball? Uh, I'm trying. They're really good. Trying to trying, trying to behave. Okay. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we will keep that flavor. Um, uh, it has been really been a hit. You know. I'll take one of these though. Okay. But yeah, Tyler, Texas, we coming your way. Uh, what's the prize for today? We're gonna give away some kettle corn. Uh oh. We'll, we'll give away maybe two two bags per winter. Yeah. What? A king cake bag? A bag of our king cake flavored kettle corn. Wow. I already looked out. It's the second to last day to even be able to get that. So really the whole the whole way that I'm doing this, the most important thing to know is that I'm using my paint very sparingly and very thinly. I've got water over here that I'm dipping my brush in. The more water you have on your brush, the better it just flows into each other. And like uh, just a little bit of yellow in her eye. More of like a reflection. Yeah. Sorry that people feel the need to steal. You're getting condolences. <laughs> <laughs> it's more if it's, you don't understand the whole thing that happened, yeah, it was basically it's not like they're still in. They, some they, people borrowed some art. People <laughs> consider my desk. No, I'm trying to explain it in a better way because I don't want it to seem like people just rob my office. Listen, listen, take my dollars, <laughs> they are now purchased. People like consider my office to be I it. an open. It's coming to me. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Casey. We all have Sarah artwork in our offices. I don't. I'm gonna buy some of that cheap junk from the thrift store. <laughs> my air, my office. No way nobody gets wants it. <laughs> overlooked as my office. It gets treated more like 
a communal area instead of well it's like still things, well i'm just saying that's why they yeah. think it's okay to take I wish my office was a communal area no you know <laughs> you go back I'm there back to get there away i talk to you i know you enjoy your privacy too i know uh, i know, I know that's right out. That made a big difference, like putting you in a spot where nobody can see you until they want. I get more work done. I, I wouldn't yeah. be able to entertain all day. Um, um, been doing a good job, except for those quarters. All those nipples. This one. Blue eye. You and Sarah's gonna have to Just get work it out today, man. I'm gonna talk to the Lord about some things. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling better. Okay, now the bridge of his nose and the beak are going to be orange. I'm using terracotta and yellow. That second uh, pelican painting was 140. <laughs> Give her her money back. I just want to be recognized as having my own area too. We all respect your boundaries. If we take your money, we can't mm -hmm. talk crazy. We don't. <laughs> uh, they said they're just borrowing them until you make one they like better. Right. <laughs> yeah, we'll trade them in. Y'all the should see the them. artwork I made for BJ. He purchased some awesome something from me. Where's it at? On his wall in his office. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are they liking the pelican, Billy? They like it. Um, oops, my ass if the water kind of thins it too much. I guess it's just a matter of how much you put. How much you if you want to blend, you need to thin. That's the. If you're just painting one color and another color, you don't need the water. But for me, I'm blending colors, and I I want it to look blended. So you need the water to blend. And if you just dip your brush in water and just kind of blot it out on something, it's totally going to, you can just keep dipping your brush in it whenever you feel like you're getting too thick. I like that little rhyme you do in there. Too. I know. Nice. If you want to blend, you need water to thin. BJ, you might uh, as well just do it. What? You might as well just do it. That's the multi camera. Okay. Bum, 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 bum. I like these a lot. When you first started painting these, they, a lot of people were talking about them. Hell, these are popular. They were talking about, about, well, does she have a way she can mass produce them? Oh, they were. <laughs> I can hear that. Can somebody paint like the background for her? To where she gets not. In, I that. mean, literally. Because it really doesn't take long anyway. No. How long have I been painting now? Oh, uh, this is 20 minutes. But honestly, without our shenanigans and all, you probably yeah. would be 15 minutes into it right now. So. And I'm just about finished. Yeah. And that's not bad. Mm -mm, not at all. The more you do, the faster you get to. I give him a little pupil. They have a really fishy looking eye. I'm gonna create just some uh, outlines, but not <clears throat> anything heavy or thick, like with a marker. More just kind of like it's uh, gently brushed through it. And it just disappears when it disappears. All right. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a pelican round. There you go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and BJ just walked off. The only other thing I might do 
Uh, once it's completely dry, it stands just a little bit around here just to give it a ruggedy look. Can you show them how you mount twine to, uh, or how you, did you already do that on this one? Mm -hmm. so Not you, on this one. I don't but. know. Can you do that? Wanting to know that. We have them wanting to know that all the time, but the stapling of it. Sure. Yeah. I'm not gonna or you can do it on a different one. Or yeah. yeah. BJ, pick your winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I think those types of things a lot faster than I did. These types. I'm going to go with Lisa Beth today. And PA. Oh, she's in PA. Tell her what she's won. And there you go. Give me that church. <laughs> No, this one. To do the background, uh, I mean, to do the, this is a church round. Unless they want to order this. You find your center, you turn it over, you get your string, I do one down, and then I fold it up and I do two more. And then I fold, I make my V right there. Never too much space because I don't want it to flop around on the door. I do one down and two up. And there you go. Is that what you wanted, Bill? Oh, yeah, I already know how to do it. <laughs> All right, choose your winners. I was trying to buy some time. I know you were. Worked out perfect. <laughs> <laughs> All right, on uh, Facebook today, Brianne Joy Land, you win. Hey, Brianne. Some delicious kettle corn. We'll send that out to you. King Cake, and then another surprise bag we'll throw in. And tomorrow, we're going. Are you? Will you be leaving tomorrow? No, Wednesday. I'll be here tomorrow. So we'll do another one tomorrow. Yeah, we'll do something else tomorrow. Uh, email us at support at build a cross dot com. BJ, got a winner? She knows. Yeah, we thought Lisa Beth. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. We'll see y'all tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you. See you later, guys.